my beautiful people. I want to thank you guys for watching my videos, staying in tune, subscribing to my channel. Um, today, I'm wearing pins because I'm planning to get messy today. You know what I'm saying? Today, I'm going to be doing um, a colorful eye shadow look, I guess. We'll see how it turns out. Today, I'm feeling like... I should do like a color, a bluish color. You know, let's see how everything turns out. Blue or green? I think we're going with blue. Okay. So I already did my eyebrows. And I'm going to try to do my eyelids facing the camera. So I'm going to try to use the camera as a um, mirror. So wish me good luck. I'm starting with CC Concealer. This helps with uneven tones on your eyelids and it helps the pigment pop out more from the eyeshadow. And this will be my palette that we're using. Wow, we have a lot of colors. And now I am applying a dark blue to the end of my eyelid and the crease of my eyelid. I also want to say that I apologize for releasing this video a thousand years later. Um, it's just been a busy, busy two weeks, if you know what I mean. The more blue I put at the end of my eye will result in a more defined cut crease. Now you put a little shade of green on the bottom of your eye like eyeliner and you're gonna dab it on to the blue like so. So it can all transition evenly together and get blended together evenly. So this is how the eye would look. We're gonna get started with the second eye. We will be showing you step by step, by color by color, how to apply. So we're starting with the blue again, only on the crease and at the end of the eye. And it's okay if you go too much because we will be putting concealer and cleaning the end later on in the video. So now we're putting a little shade of green. We're just applying it onto the blue too, just so it, everything can transition evenly. And now we're going on to yellow. Yellow will be applied in the inner corner of your eye. Like so. <laughs> I thought that was a mosquito bite for a sec. Again, doing the yellow. I know y'all hear that clock behind me, but let's keep it going. Let's keep it rolling. So, again, you know, retouching up the yellow. So now we're gonna be applying, this is a highlight. So I'm gonna be applying the highlight on the top, on the bottom of my brow, but on top of the blue shade or the green shade. This also helps it to blend out evenly. Let's get a closer look. Now I'm cleaning it with concealer. And no, it's not supposed to be a straight line because I wanted a curvy look. So please do not come at me because I am allergic to hate and I'm just learning. And this is how you put on eyelashes. Thank me later. So you slap that glue on the eyelash. It's best to get the glue that has the wand because it's easier to apply and it's less messy. You see how fast I did that? So you blow on the eyelash to make it sticky enough, whatever you can to make it dry enough and sticky enough to apply to your eyelid. Make it close, and I mean as close as you can to your real um, eyelash line because you do not want your eyelash looking like it's half falling out.
I did not notice how chunky my face was until I saw this video. I look so cute though with a chunky face. But cover girl, you know that's me. But let me know if I should try any other foundation and I could give it a review. Text me on Instagram or comment on this video. And I'll do a review for my next video of anything. I just realized you guys do not text on Instagram, you guys DM. So DM ya girl, give me a challenge to do for you. But back to it, let's blend out that concealer. This concealer low key makes me look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. And I look that chunky, oh it's over. I just realized I said concealer instead of foundation, wow. Anyways, we are now contouring my face. I'm looking like Annabelle, but I am putting a couple dots. This will help me blend it upwards. And now we are putting actual concealer under my eyes because you know I got bags for days. So now we will be blending it out and this is exactly why I put a couple dots because it will help me blend out a little bit more upwards and it will make me have like a little brown look to my cheeks. My cheeks will be looking hella snatched, okay? So I'm gonna say bye bye to this fat baby face and say hello to the new adult looking Amy, okay? Okay. So now I'm putting HD finishing powder. I got this at a Chinese store. And this is really good. This helps me clean the lines, separate the contour and the highlight, everything looking where it's supposed to be at. Bam, how does that look? That looks so good. Oh, oh, dang, I'm looking sexy. So now we are going back in with highlight and I am highlighting my cheeks. So now I am retouching my eyelids and I will be putting a yellow under my eyelids. This helps my eyes pop out and make it look more wider than it usually is. And now I'm going back in with concealer because baby girl, these bags are dark. They are super dark. Again, I will be retouching the yellow just because um, the concealer probably just took more than it should. But here I am putting mascara on my under eyes and this is my final look. Dang, I look so sexy. Again, I'm putting HD powder just for my contour lines to look more defined. So I'm just retouching that up. Sorry I made that face. It's just I feel like I look like an old man with this HD powder. Be upon. 
applying blush i love blush it makes me look cute very pink very sassy bam yes and i am applying setting spray and some lip gloss to make my lips pop in Thank you for watching my videos, staying in tune, and having the patience enough to watch me grow and do my makeup. And yes, so keep on watching and let's get good at it.